Hey guys, what's up? Lower body coming at you. So what you're gonna need today is a, a step. There will be some box jumps as part of our conditioning, but also maybe a couch or a chair, something you're gonna be able to do some glute bridges off of. And then um, I've got a 10 pound med ball here, but you can certainly use a couch pillow or something like that. That'll make more sense in a minute. So five rounds. I'm gonna give you guys that you got six movements here. You're gonna go through in a section. We've kind of coupled them up so you have a little bit of a strength endurance mixed with some cardio. So it should have your heart rate decently high. Still trying to keep it relatively low impact, okay? So your first uh, first movements, 1A and 1B, you're gonna give me 12 of both of these movements. Hand behind your head, prisoner squats. Bolt your feet into the floor, slowly lower. Three, two, one, drive through the heels, coming up quick. Three, two, one, through the heels, coming up quick. All right, you got 12 reps there. We're mixing that with, right, going from that right into 12 hyper climbers, right? The goal here, to continue to open up the hips, so drive that knee away from the midline of the body. Jump, drive it out. Okay, six by six for a total of 12 there. Your second movement, reverse lunge into curtsy. So it's a little bit of a double up, right? So what you wanna focus on doing here is keep tension on that glute and hamstring the whole time, a little bit of quad. So the reverse lunge and then cross the midline of the body, curtsy, that's one. You're gonna go six by six, that's two. Boom, that's three, right? Six on one side, six on the other. And then with that, we're gonna mix in that lateral shuffle, right? So this is a good way to get your heart rate up, 10 by 10. And uh, that's, it's gonna be kind of lower impact, right? So you wanna start feet together, shoot to the side, try to touch the ground if you can. Kind of get out of the camera there a little bit, but 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Should get your heart rate pretty high. Then your third little couplet here, you have single leg glute bridges with 20 reverse slams, okay? That's what you need the pillow for, or if you have a ball. So on that single leg glute bridge, you wanna get into good extension here through the lower back. Make sure glutes are nice and tight. You can go two legs if you want, but if you wanna mix it up a little bit harder, Single leg, drive through that heel, focus on squeezing the glute and not getting into hyperextension through the lower back, right? Like you don't wanna feel any compression in your lower back. As Soon as you're done with 10 by 10 there, should have the glutes burning pretty good. Grab your, uh, grab your pillow, couch pillow, whatever you need, if you got it a different way you can. Reverse slam, so you're just basically going up and down as fast as you can for 20 total reps. That should get your heart rate up pretty high. Mixing that with conditioning. EMOM, every minute on the minute, okay? You got two movements, so minutes one, two, three, no, minutes one, three, five, seven, nine. We're doing 12 box jumps, so find some steps outside, right? Land softly, step down. If you're not doing box jumps, do 24 step ups. As Soon as you're done there, minute two, four, six, eight, 10, hands overhead, 16 reverse lunges, okay? So that's 10 total minutes, five rounds of each of those. Should be a pretty good burner. Thank you guys for everything. Let us know what you think. Train Heroic. Boom.